Chris Webster out and get these little three pound fillies and off they go. And Lamosti, one of the slower ones to move. She goes back there in company with Go Indigo. The favourites together at the end. Sabatini bounced well, but now the speed comes over from the outside. Amicus is going quickly and uh, brings Traveston Girl across with her, and she now goes to the front. Pick and time settling third and fourth outside of Sabatini. They're followed by Bring Me the Maid, who's settling down in fifth placing over on the outside of a fleet Esprit. Two lengths further back is Go Genio. About a length and a half to Tony Girl, and she was followed as a or Tony Dancer and a length away to Go Indigo and Lamosti is back last but they are running it quite solidly. Traveston Girl heading to the 900 metres on the railway side led by three Amicus, two lengths away pick and time a half Sabatini a length further back on the outside then came Bring Me The Maid, a fleet of spray on the fence a length and a half then to Go Genio uh, she's being followed a further two lengths back then by Tani Dance who's down on the inside from Go Indigo and two behind her is Lamosti who's ten at least away from the lead 600 to go and Traveston Girl led by two amicus pick and time a length away sabatini the rail and they're followed then by bring me the maid who's poised for her run ahead of go genio go indigo peeling to the outside a fleet of spree waiting for the inside runs tony dancer still second last and lamosti last when they corner traveston girl in front by a length down the outside now comes amicus sabatini's running on then bring me the maid followed further back then by down the outside is go indigo and lamosti amicus hit the front with a hundred to go sabatini after Amicus. Amicus just in front. Amicus holding on and she's won it. Amicus is first. Trimiston Girl kicks to get second. A photo third between Bring Me the Maid and also Sabatini. Followed further back then by Tani Dancer. Then Go Indy Go. Go Genio. Back behind those to finish the fleet of spree. Lamosti didn't come on and pick and time last time. We've had a frustrating day, Huey Bowen, seconds in the previous two uh, Group 1 races on the card. He gets one here. That was pretty straightforward work, wasn't it, Famicus? Charge out of the barriers, let Traveston Girl go, let all the chasers do some hard work chasing, and Bowen gives us a peach ride, and Amicus, the half-million-dollar filly, becomes a valuable fast-net rock filly for the future. And Chris Waller, well, what a start he is. Another Group 1. Traveston Girl, it's all on pace here. There's some good runs out the back, but when you're at the back, you've got to do a lot better than doing that. This filly, she's a ripper. She just keeps improving. She does. Sammy, look, um, I won a maiden on her back in the autumn. And straight away, I said to Chris, I said, I think she's flight stakes class, you know. The Sydney equivalent to the 1,000 guineas, and he's brought her to Melbourne and give her a Melbourne prep, and that's paid off. It was a big run the other day, and... She jumped well, I pushed forward from a wide barrier. She had to do a bit of work, but once I got smothered up in behind the leader, that just helped her around this track, which is the last couple of starts. She hasn't got around all that well, and she was too strong. Yeah, I've just noticed that last couple of runs have been so solid, but she's like, she's still learning. She's just new. Well, it's, when the Sydney horses come here, um, the pressure goes on as you're on the bend here at Caulfield, and inevitably they find it very difficult. And, it was even evident a little bit there today for this filly that Chris has been smart enough to bring it in and give her a couple of runs. And uh, it was probably the ingredient she needed to win today. Well right. done, Jeff. Thank you very much. Well, let's hear from the winning trainer, and that is Chris Waller. He's just uh, shaking hands. The congratulations are flowing. Another group.